The youngest member in the history of the Prince George's County Council was sworn in to office. Prince, Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins reports there were some pretty high profile folks there to congratulate him, including U.S. House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer. Hi, Edward Burroughs III. Since he was a student at Crossland High School, Edward Burroughs has been a public servant, rising from the student member on the County Board of Education to its youngest elected member when he was just 18. Now at 29, he's a county council member. If you would have asked me a year ago, six months ago, uh, where would I be? It would not be on the Prince George's County Council. Uh, for those of you who have known my story and know what we've been through, um, this is the last place that I would have ever thought I would be. When former District 8 Councilwoman Monique Anderson Walker stepped down to be running mate for gubernatorial candidate Peter Francho, Burroughs won the special election with more than 70% of the vote in the primary, beating former Councilman and State Delegate Tony Knotts. On the school board, Burroughs helped elect progressive candidates, shifting the power of the board, often clashing with school leadership. His fight against former school CEO Kevin Maxwell went all the way to the governor. Maxwell later resigned. Ed, uh, man, I'm going to have to watch you because you can have the majority leader. Today, political leaders spoke in support of Burroughs, including U.S. House Majority Leader and Prince George's County native, Congressman Steny Hoyer. There's been controversy on the Board of Education. Uh, but you have tried to be a steady, focused voice. I'm here today to celebrate Ed, to celebrate his perseverance, his passion, and to remind each and every one of you that he is someone who is an example of the ultimate measure of a man. Burroughs' campaign was not supported by everyone on the county council. Some members were missing from his swearing in. I want to fight to do his right on behalf of the people of Prince George's County, and often that gets me into some good trouble, but I feel comfortable in that space at this point, and I look forward to contributing and supporting and working together as best we can. The election happens in June of this year. Ed Burroughs has filed to run, so has Tony Knotts, who came in second in the special election. I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4. Now, after winning his seat, Burroughs resigned from his job overseeing the teen court program within Prince George's County State's Attorney's Office. Today, State's Attorney Aisha Braveboy said Burroughs helped grow the program and wrote legislation expanding the state's definition of child abuse.